I'm looking at this stuff thinking, not keeping that, not keeping that. So I might as well just do a bag now. Do you know a bag for my photo bags in 30 days? So, keep the bag. I'm going to do a bag. I don't know how much you're going to see. I've got my hair tied up. I've got whatever. So, bag. I know that all this policy, policy, whatever this stuff is, plastic that stamps come in. I kept it because you can die cut things out of it. But it's going in the bin. Big bits going in the bin. The plastic cover that came in. Oh, it's a staple in. Do you remember the fascinator? Do you remember that? When that came out? Why have I got the box? I don't know what the fascinator is. Bin! Light thing that's sticking out of the bin. Bin! Labels. They go with a printer. Right, this is a scoreboard, a craft scoreboard. In the days when they were made of wood, <laughs> which I don't think I need it anymore. And I don't think anyone else is going to want it because they've got like the Martha Stewart clever ones and all that kind of stuff. So, I've got it in the bag, but it'll probably, I'll probably, I don't know, I might take a picture out of it. Right, that's my stencils. What else is going in the bin? My friend gave me, I don't know how long ago, it was his birthday, <laughs> and oh, it might have been Christmas. No, not sure. Anyway, and look, Lakeside Spa, <laughs> Southampton, all the shizzle in that. In. And here's the card that she made to go with it. That's it. It's one of them making memories so long ago is plaques. Time is the most valuable thing one can spend. It says you are cordially invited to spend a relaxing day of pampering at Botley Grange Spa. You'll be pampered with a skin brightening facial, followed by an invigorating salt and oil rub. I'm gonna keep the plaque because it's useful. And thank you, Mandy, but you're going in the bin. Uh, so there's the tissue that went with it. And there's the card envelope. Yeah, I don't know what this is. It's just a Christmas card, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so that bag, this big bag, has sat on the top of that cupboard since we moved in here. <laughs> and now I'm just chucking it in the bin. Just like that. And then these cards. Why did I chuck it in the bin 16 years ago? These are old Christmas cards. Now, uh, oh, I always say I keep ones of people who have died because you get to sort of keep their writing. I think this is what these all are. Yes. Husband's mum, that's my cousin, that's a thank you card. What was this one? Mm. Oh, yeah, these are all people. My friend who were at work who died of prostate cancer. 
Oh, and this is my old landlady from when I lived there. So I'm very, I'm very sorry to hear you're leaving, but it's wonderful to hear that you found somebody special. So I used to live on my own in a, a flat that I used to rent. And the landlady and me was really good friends and we really got on well. So yes, I've kept them for a reason. So I'm going to put them all in my other keepy cards. I'll leave them there for now. And we're going to get a bag full. I don't know if we're going to call it a bag yet. It might be some more anyway. So have a look. I know that's not rubbish. These are rubbish, aren't they? I mean, you saw these in my finger. They're just the packaging for the quick nuts fonts. So. They can all go in there, and before you panic, though I'm filling this up in the bag, it will, they all will go into the recycling. So, that looks like about it for my finger. So there you go, there's the bag. So 30 bags in 30 days. Ooh. If you're watching this separately from my craft room declutter, this is bag number seven. Bag number seven, crap from the craft room, again. Oh, one more thing. This can go. This can go. <laughs> this is a gold cosmetics bag. This Bavardin one. I bought it thinking it's going to be smaller and I was going to use it as a pencil case. And it came and it's way too big. I might send it to my friend Nikki because she loves everything gold. But either way, I'm not keeping it. Put it in the bag. <laughs> okay, so it's definitely a bag. There we go, another bag, done.